um, I would say, um, I, I think it, it goes back to what, what Brian was, was speaking to uh, b before, when, you, when you're writing or when you are recording. You have to decide, are you writing or recording music for, for a two-piece? Or are you writing or recording for like that band that exists in, in your head? That means all the instruments and all the sounds you could possibly dredge up. I think that's one of the one of one of the most challenging things, because um, especially in, and I, I think it'd be good for Brian to speak to this as well. But um, I view making records, I view like the studio as being another member of the band, and um, and uh, so to have that kind of philosophy. Um, but then, no, uh, when the day is done, that you're going to be responsible for trying to recreate as many of these sounds and trying to preserve as much as you possibly can live on stage. Um, it's, it's difficult uh, to not let that limit your creative process in the end. Um, um, or it's just really difficult to not just sweat your ass off when you're trying to do it every night and make it something that you know, you're just gritting your teeth about. Um, because there's something really important to being relaxed on stage. Uh, cause that, being in touch with, with what like, you're doing up there is important to preserve that kind of intimacy between you and the song. You used up your swear word, by the way. Jake. <laughs> um, I, you're obviously, those loops that you play the vocal loops in the pre-recorded. No, all, all the vocal loops we do. See, this is the problem with, as soon as you put a laptop up on stage, it's like, oh, okay, that makes well, sense. I, I, it doesn't make sense. I was wondering <laughs> <laughs> how you were playing at that. Yeah, so, so I mean. I, it sounds so full. And who, who set the timing then? Was it the loops or was it the drums? Uh, Brian, Brian set, sets, sets the, um, the time at first. So yeah. whatever that, that first 16th note is, that is going to be the time for the rest of the song. And you could probably hear it because the monitors aren't quite as, you know, like what we're used to, that we were actually getting off on, on, yeah, on the loop as it was going on. Um, so I first set, set that vocal loop, which is going to come in the second verse. I bring that back when come in the second verse. And then when we go to the end, I recall it again. And then I start laying, layering on top of that. So by the end of it, you know, it's it's still going with the same time that was set up at the beginning, and then Brian's responsible for keeping us there. But that's fairly, in, in, I mean, that's kind of improv, isn't it? Um, no, the 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 vocal lines um, themselves aren't like at, at this point. I've done it too many times yeah. for for it to be something improv. Um, that's that that's pretty hammered home. Pretty